Hello, everyone, and welcome to Dumbbell Strength. We are going to get started in just a minute here. Before we get started, please take a minute to review the exercise disclaimer, and we will get going on that upper body dumbbell strength right after that. Again, welcome. This is Dumbbell Strength. We're going to be working some upper body today. My name is Ken Hearn. I'm going to be working with you through that uh, upper body routine today. So you're going to want some uh, light dumbbells, um, maybe some medium dumbbells, uh, even some heavier dumbbells. Today we're going to try to do uh, what we call high reps uh, strength program. So we're going to be doing lighter on the weight, but we're going to be doing a lot of reps. We're going to be doing like two rounds of 30 reps at a time. So we're working more on the fatigue cycle of the muscle, trying to really wear it down. So try to adjust the weight as you can to, uh, to those exercises. Before we get started, let's go ahead and warm ourselves up. So hands are out to the side. We're just going to open up the shoulders, kind of pinch in the shoulder blade back, open the chest, and then we're going to come straight in. Go across, open up, and then go underneath. Good, just trying to open those shoulders. We're gonna to try to work a lot of shoulder, chest today. Get that going. Good. Two more each, each level here. Okay, one more. One more here. And open it up, reach to the toes back up try to keep that those eyes looking up to that hand that's reaching up to the sky so kind of stretch out that neck a little bit three more here excellent from here hands are straight up sumo squat to y stand i know we're upper body but it's still good to move that lower body a little bit here Good. Reach it down. A few more here. Excellent. Next thing we're going to do is a, a walkout, uh, inchworm sometimes called, or hand walk. So we're going to get at the end of our mat here. We're just going to come down. We're only doing a couple of these, so if you do have some wrist issues, you can use the fist, or you can do these from the knees, but we're going to straighten out the legs as much as we can. Walk it out with me here all the way. Tightening here at the bottom, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the abdominals. Walk it back out. A couple quick arm circles forward, and back down we go. Walk it back out. Three, two, one, let's walk it back in. And then those arm circuits behind. Very good, shake that body out. Like I said before we started here, we're gonna do higher reps here. So the weights wanna be modified here. So we're gonna go right through the arm cycle here. So we're gonna have 30 curls, 30 overhead presses, and then we're gonna bend it over 30 tricep presses here. We're gonna do these three two times through, so 60 reps in all. So, lighter weights here. You may need even no weights as we get to that second set. All right, and you can adjust. Obviously, you may be, uh, biceps are a little bit of a bigger muscle group than the tricep or the shoulders. So you may be able to do 
more with that with the bicep curls than you can on the press. We're not jumping one into the other. Be how you'll have a moment to change those weights. Remember, if it gets too difficult, keep doing the reps. Put the weights down. Doing body weight. Here we go. First one up is going to be a curls, 30 curls. We're going to have palms open. We want to stop just before the thighs. We don't want to swing all the way back here. Stop just before the thighs. It'd be a curl here. Stop before the thighs. That's what we're looking for. Three, two, one. Tighten those bellies. Here we go. One, two, three. Nice and easy. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11, we're halfway there, so you can see we're wearing out those muscles today. We're on to our last 10 reps here. 10, nine, just start feeling those muscles. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we started with those, those bicep curls. So I want you to adjust your weight just a little bit so that the bicep curl, or so that the uh, overhead press is about the same as the bicep curl, all right, as far as how you finish. If you felt like you, you just couldn't get to those ends, adjust that weight, do as needed, but remember, overhead press wears fast. So, we're going to be inside, so we're not gonna turn open, we're gonna stay inside for this press, straight up, back down. Now, we do this standing, I, I'm going to kneel down just because of ceiling height. So if you have ceiling height issues like myself, you can either do this from a seated position or you can do it from a kneeling position. Tighten the tummy. Whether you're kneeling, standing, you should tighten the tummy, squeeze the glutes. We want that form to be correct. Here we go, 30 reps. Excellent. We're halfway there. Shoulders may be wearing. Remember, you can always put the dumbbells down. We got 10 to go here. And one, excellent job. Now you may have felt that coming through here into the back a little bit, that's great. The biggest thing we don't wanna feel it is in the top of the neck because that means we're pushing our neck forward as we're doing those. Okay, think of that now as we move to the tricep press. Do you wanna adjust your weights? Do you wanna get heavier, lighter weights? We have 30, we call tricep kickbacks, all right? So we're gonna go into a squat position here, semi-squat position. We're gonna bring the elbows up right next to us. All right, so they're gonna be uh, parallel with the back there. All right, or I'm sorry, level with the back there. From there, we're just going to push out, come back in, push out, come back in. All right, if we're looking, we're just pushing out, back in. All right, we're looking for 30 of these. So remember, probably a little lighter. Biceps wear pretty quickly. Here we go. Three, high reps here. Two, one, and let's go. Try to keep that head down, back flat. How do you feel after the first 10 here? You need to adjust. Can you make it through? Nothing's moving but the arm. We got 10 to go here.
Last one. Excellent job. Go ahead and put those dumbbells down. Shake those arms out. We got another set to go, but in between that set, we want to those arms to take a little breather because we're doing those high reps. Let's go ahead and come down to the mat. We're going to work a little bit on some abdominals here. If you want a dumbbell here, you can have one. These are going to be our pullover crunches. I am going to actually grab one dumbbell here, hold it in both, both hands. And our goal is to pull it over and then extend into a crunch. Now it's a two-part exercise. So head stays down, we pull over first, then we crunch up, then we go back. So the head stays down until we get pretty much over the chest, then we can crunch forward, back down. Try not to crunch straight to the knees, try to crunch almost up into the air a little bit. That'll hit a little bit more of that right to the we're looking for. Here we go. Pullovers, we're sticking with high reps here, so adjust your weight if you need to. Well, we got 20 of these. Three, two, one. Here, one. Pull over, this is actually working the back as well on the pullover. Excellent, pull that belly to the spine, remember. He's at the glutes. We're halfway there on this one. Three to go here. Two, last one, and one. Let's go ahead and put that down. We're gonna go one more time after the belly here. Let's tuck those belly to spines. We're gonna go into a, a dead bug. Hands are up straight, knees are bent. If you have or feel the back at all, you can go one leg down at a time and you can keep touching those legs down. If not, you can extend it straight, just like this. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. Tighten through the tummy. Keep it going. We're at our halfway point on these. Tighten that belly to the spine. Excellent job. Just stretch that body out. Three, two, one. Let's bring it back up. We're going to return back to our first set here. So again, working the biceps, working the triceps, and working the shoulder muscles. Pick that weight wisely here. We got our second set of 30 reps. So the first one is the curl. Remember, we don't want to swing the curl. Stop right before the, the thighs coming up. All right, so let's pick the right weight for you. 30 reps, nice easy bi bicep curls here. A little dip into the legs, three, two, one, here we go. One. Stop right before those thighs. We're 10 in, 20 to go. Adjust the weights if you need to. All right, we got 10 reps to go. And 
and one. Excellent job on those curls. All right, so we're moving to the presses next. Remember, probably a little less weight than the curls. Shoulder muscles wear a little quicker. I'm going to go ahead and kneel back down just because of overhead uh, capacity here, but you're, will, you're more than welcome to stay standing. You can sit for this one, or you can come in a kneel position like myself, tuck the tummy, squeeze the glute. That straightens the, the spine out, keeps us in a good, safe, neutral spine. 30 of them, remember, palms facing the ears. We're not opened up here. Three, two, one, here we go. We stay with those palms in, because it helps. We're actually in a safer position this way. The head of the humerus is actually rotated in and in the socket a little bit more. So it's a little safer on that shoulder mechanism. First 10 in the way, 20 to go. You should feel those shoulders wearing. We got 10 to go. Try to keep your form. If you have to give up form, drop that weight. Good push. Excellent job, everyone. Shake those arms out. Use that dumbbell to kind of rotate those arms. Just shake them out before we get into this tricep. Adjust the weights if you need to. If you don't, get into that semi-squat with me. Lock into that position. All right, see my back is flat. Flat back, elbows come to that flat back. Then we just kick and up. All right? Here we go, three, two, one, flat back, tighten, 30 reps. Try to keep those eyes down, keeps you from straining the neck. You should feel this right in the back of the arms, right in that tricep area. Twenty to go here. And left. Three, two, and one. Very good. Let's put those dumbbells down for just a minute. We're going to go into a little bit more bigger muscle groups next with the chest and the back. But for the time being, let's come back down into that crunch. Just have the crunch this round, no dead bugs. So one dumbbell if you need it. If you don't feel like you want the dumbbell, you don't need the dumbbell there. You can still do the pullover without it. This is what we call super pullover. It's actually working the lat muscle as well as some of the serratus muscles. Here we go, three. Two and one, reach it over and crunch it up. One. If you want to add, you can add the knees to it as you crunch. But you don't have to. Sometimes it adds confusion. <laughs> Eight to go here. That belly spine locked in. Five more. Last one. And number one. Excellent job. All right, 
So we're going to move to the chest here, chest and back. So we're going to be on a lying position for a chest press. I want you to find a weight that you can do 30 chest presses now. So the chest presses will be lying on our back. Then we're going to move in same position that we did for the tricep kickbacks. But now we're going to do what we call a reverse fly. So we're going to be in that same flat back position. Elbows are bent. I wing out, back in. Notice I'm not keeping the arm straight and doing this. Wing out here, pinch the shoulder blade. I'm not going up. Pinch the shoulder blade, back. Pinch that shoulder blade, back. Okay, so that's what we're looking for there. Here, pinch the shoulder blade, back up. And then we're gonna put ourselves under a little bit extra pressure on the chest and back. We're going to then perform 10 push-ups and then 10 T-steps, trying to isolate that chest and back. So, with that information in mind, pick your weight, pick what you're comfortable doing, 30 reps up. Remember, it'll wear faster than you think at 30 reps. All right, so good form on these chest presses. We're gonna lie on our backs. Best way to do this is to come into that seated position. Bring each dumbbell on the thigh. All right, from here, the dumbbells come to the chest as we lay down, all right? Once they're at the chest, we're going to push them straight up in the air. We're gonna open up the hands, and then we're going to press. As well, basically drop it into the first press. So from here, press straight up, turn it, and then we've got 30 chest presses. We'll start with this one. Down, up we go, one, two, Remember, you can bring the feet up if you want to add a little core. But if not, pull that belly to spine. Pressing away. We got 10 down, 20 to go. Remember to stay over the chest, not over the eyes. Last 10 here, chest is starting to wear. Adjust the weights if needed. Five to go. And one, excellent job. Just drop those dumbbells right to the side. Let them all the way down. Come on up for those reverse flies not going to need clearly as much weight for the reverse flies probably going to be around the same weight that you were using for those uh for those tricep presses maybe even a little less this is a small these are our rear deltoids and our scapularis muscles so they're a little smaller but they're really good at opening us up so that's what we're trying to do they're good if there's a pop Astral muscle, as we like to call them as well, keeping us upright at our desk. All right, so flat back again. Slightly bend in the elbows. Squeeze the shoulder blades, back in. Don't get crazy with it where you're way up here. All right, you're here. You feel that little squeeze in the shoulder blades, come back in. We got 30 of these reps. This one especially, if you feel your lower back, it means you're rolling. Fix your, fix your uh, form a little bit. You can even stand up, do a little lean over, and jump back into it. Other thing to know, if you can't pull anymore, you're gonna start using your neck, reduce the weight. All right, here we go, 30 reps. Three, two, one, and let's fly. Feel that shoulder squeeze, or the shoulder blade squeeze. job coming up on halfway right here ten more four to go here four three 
two, and one. Good. And I want to show you before we jump into the push-up another version, if you just couldn't seem to do that with that lower back not feeling it, is to do what we call a split stance. So you would put one foot behind the other. Something to think about for that last round. All right, so we're gonna push you a little bit here. This can be modified, but I'm looking for 10 push-ups, then 10 T-spine stabs, if you will. So they're gonna look just like this. I'm just gonna take the hand, reach up, back down. It's just 10 and 10, not 10 on each side for the T-stabs, 10 and 10. Push-ups can be modified off a wall, off the ground from the knees or on an elevated surface. We're looking for 10, gonna feel those chest muscles for sure. Three, two, one, here we go. Three to go here. Excellent, come to the knees real quick. Shake the right, shake the left, back up on the toes, open up that stance, roll over on the foot. There's one, roll over, two, And number 10. Let's go ahead and stay here. Flip it back over. We're gonna find those dead bugs again. So hands are up for me. Knees come up. Three, two, one, let's go. Way there, folks, on the dead bugs. Try to keep that belly just fine locked in. Two more dead bugs. Reach for one. Reach for two. Good stretch here. Three, two. One, bring it up. Actually, I apologize, stay there. Find your weights for the chest press. All right, so back on the ground. Ready to just jump up. <laughs> back to the thighs. Remember on these, tighten the belly through the spine. Use weights that you can get through 30 reps. Let's go ahead and bring it to the chest. Down we are on the ground. Press it right up. 30, great. Press this here, three, two, one, here we go. One, two, three, the head down, four, belly to spine, five, over the chest, remember. And down. And more to go here. You're even still getting some of that bicep tricep work in. So you may feel a little sore in the biceps or triceps. Three, two, and one. Bring them down, forearms down to the ground safely. Now we can come up to a standing position into those flies one more time. Now again, you can go into that stagger stance on the fly if need be. So we can be into this single leg staggered or you can be double leg. Whatever's more comfortable for you. I'll show you that single leg this round. So one foot's in front of. If you want to switch at 15 reps, the legs you can. We're not working that much legs. 
You will get a little bit of consistent uh, quad work here, but nothing major. Three, two, one, here we go. I'll go ahead and tell you the switch at 15 if you want to. Those shoulder blades. If you want to switch, there's 15. You can switch that leg, same thing. Good squeeze with those shoulders. Last three here, folks. Three. Two, one, excellent job. Let's go ahead and put those down. Last two things, give me 10 push-ups, 10 T-stabs, three, two, one. Come with me here, one, two, three. These are meant to totally fatigue, four, five, the system, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Little stretch. Back up we come. Widen out the legs. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and number 10. Come down there, quick shake out of the arms. Reach real quick, good stretch. Push that stretch a little lower, flat back. Open it up from here, pull as we stand. Some good work on the arm, the chest, the back. Shake that out. Great job today. Thanks for joining me for some upper body dumbbell strength. We'll see you next time. Have a good one, everyone.